Hey, welcome back to yet another video on data science. Today we are going to see how to make a line plot using the Plotly Express library. So our today's topic for a line plot is that we have to see the total confirmed and recovered corona cases in UP in last seven days. So let's begin. Firstly, let's recall what are the different types of libraries which we were using? So we were using NumPy, Pandas and the Plotly Express library. So what is NumPy? You all remember or not? Okay, let me tell you. NumPy, it is a general purpose array processing package and it can also be used as an efficient multidimensional container of generic data. So let's import that library. For importing, we have to write import numpy as np. So let's begin. Import numpy as np. Now, a second library which we need to import is pandas. So what is pandas? It is the most popular Python library used for data analysis. So let's import that import pandas as pd. Now the third one which is used for making the plots is the Plotly Express. It is a high level API for rapid data exploration and figures. So let's import that. For importing import plotly.express as px. For running you can press Shift plus in, enter or either here you can go run time and run the focus cell. Okay, now we have imported our library. Now next, we have to read and see that what is our data frame on which we are going to work today. So, write df. What refers to df? df refers to the name of the data frame. df is equal to pd dot read csv pd is the short form of the pandas library dot read csv and csv is a file of comma separated values so pd dot read csv and the name of our data so name i have given to my data is up covid cases dot CSV. Now let's run this. Okay. Now our third thing is that we need to see that what columns does our data set contains. So for that, we will simply write DF and it will tell us the columns that our data fr frame contains. Now here one thing that if you want to see the first five rows of your data set here you can use df.head and let's run and it will give you the first five rows of your column okay so now the main motive of our today's tutorial is to learn how to make a line plot so for a line plot i had already told in my previous video about the syntax and what is a line plot so the link for that is given in the description box. So let's write px dot line. What is px here? px refers to the short form used for the plotly express library. And line, line refers to the line plot. Now name of our data frame, we have given df. Now what should our x axis contain so our x axis should contain the days now what about the y y should contain the confirmed cases now you remember i told you about the color and the hover name today we are not going to use color because we don't have different states or too many different rows so we are going to use only hover name. So let's see what does this do. H-O-V-E-R hover 
name. Now, I want that in my thought, the days and confirm should be in x and y axis and when I click on a particular point, it should also tell about the recovered. So, I am giving my hover name as recovered. Now, let's run and see does this give us something or is there any error? Okay, so we have our line plot. It is just similar whatever we have given like on the X we have given days on Y we have given the confirmed cases and now you must be wondering that where is the whole name. So if you click on this point it tells you day is equal to Sunday confirmed is equal to 3840 and the number that appears on the top that is 5226 that are the total recovered cases on Sunday. It works on each and every point like this one is for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So let's match this that does this match our data set or not. Let's match for Saturday that for Saturday the day is Saturday confirmed cases matches yeah it is 3631 and recovered cases are 4860 and it too matches. So I hope you all have got a little glimpse at how to make a line plot on a simple data. So what are you all waiting for? Just try the making this line plot. If any problems you can always share your notebooks link with me in the comment box. Now next video will be of the scatter plot. Till then thank you and bye bye.